Hello there, this is Loisa, and welcome to Caffeine Fix Budget. So here is my 2023 binder wallet line up, set up. This is how they look together. Pakita ko muna sa inyo all para may idea kayo how it looks like. And let's go ahead and tackle one by one and explain to you how I use them. First off, we have this coin purse. Diba ang ganda? So, it has gold hardware tapos may nakita kong pearl na shell na may starfish. So, may pearl din siya and hard. And gold din siya. So, it really fits the aesthetic. Ito may handle siya. Sometimes, if I go to the Sari Sari or convenience store, I only bring this. So, nilalagay ka lang sa finger ko and then just carry it. And this is my coin purse. So, ito may few centavos of all, few pesos. So, that's it. Hindi siya maraming laman ngayon because I put the rest sa coin jar ko. Ayan, I carry this with me pag lumalabas together with the A7 binders. So, with that said, let's go ahead and show them. Basically, I have two A7 binders and they are exactly the same, same categories. And for this time, same envelopes. I use these sets of envelopes in each. I just... Depende lang talaga sa mood ko what will I use on that particular day. This is my original A7 binder na clear. This is the minimalist a7 binder that I sell on my shop so this is what it looks like so let's set aside so, now. this is what it looks like so my keychain na ako na a cute cute lang <laughs> so these are the the categories that I have so first is kape. This is my personal allowance. Then groceries. We have groceries. Business stocks. We have Shopee. And we have laundry. We also have buffer here. Errands. Deposit. Receipts. And this zip locks for the coins. So we'll tackle this one by one. Kape is personal allowance ko. And I just love the idea of naming my allowance kape. Because, you know, I love coffee. And it sparks joy to me more than the allowance na name. Groceries, this is what I use both in grocery store and in our public market to buy foods for us. Business stocks, this is the occasional stocks that I have to buy online. So, I put this because sometimes I don't pay right away, like online. I op opted for COD. So, all the cash, I will put it here just to separate it. Shopee is for my personal spending. And I just realized that I'm also shopping on TikTok. So, I should have put this on this label as online shopping. But regardless, you know, it's just the same. <laughs> Different platform nga lang. So, this laundry for the fee that we pay for our helper that comes in bi-monthly to 
wash our clothes and we chip in among our sisters to pay for that buffer this is mainly like a miscellaneous rollover type of of category and i usually get money here whenever someone in our family needs like petty cash for example to buy water or my father needs to borrow something yeah so errands this is mainly for the errands that my mother asked me to do because sometimes she asked me to pay her credit or her PO sa grocery store so I find it convenient to have a separate category so that whenever I'm done I just insert the insert the change here and whenever I get home after it after doing the errands I'll just take out and give it to her so it's convenient for me so deposit because sometimes my sister cash in for her gcash business so i just return and deposit to my bank so i have that receipts self-explanatory so i have my receipts here mostly after i put it on my or track it in my expenses i put it to my for my compost bin so I, I don't really keep all the receipts. The receipts I keep here are for the water and electrical and BPI transactions. I don't put all the receipts here because it will really bulk. So I just throw them away to my compost bin whenever I'm done tallying them up. And this Ziplocs, you know, you know that I don't offer the ziplocs anymore in my shop because it tends to get yellowish over time and crispy baconish i just use this as my coin nalalagyan whenever if ever i don't bring my coin purse with me and to be honest then i use this as my catch-all whenever i'm out kasi um, especially if nasa linya ka I want ko lang if ako lang ba I really tend to get you know parang nagmamadali ako na sa stress so I just put everything in parang nagmamadali ka and there's someone waiting on the line so ito ito yung parang nagiging catch all ko din so ayan this is how it looks like Yung isa din sa ayaw ko sa ziplocs because, alam mo yun, it tends to get soggy. So, ito kasi yung laminated and the looks. May, may strength na siyang sa kanya. So, it, it sits up tight, upright. So, ayan. This is how it looks like. And, we'll put the, we'll put the ace, the coin purse. And try to see how it looks like pagkasama sila so yeah this is how it looks like whenever I get out so yan yeah, mga cute tayo na mga keychains na walang key so yan yeah, this is how it looks like so let's go ahead and see how it looks like with this A7 binder. So this is my A7 LB inspired binder. So the hardware is also gold and I made the envelopes gold so that matchy matchy sila. So here on the left side there are three slots for your cards. Or So I have two cards here and my ID. So there's a slot here. And sa likod, wala siya. You cannot open this one, but it has a blue pen. And now, 
So, ganito siya. This is the same... This is the same cash envelopes from my clear A7 wallet. And as you can see, I really have to make a separate envelopes for this because lumalag pa siya. And it doesn't it doesn't look good, honestly. So I have to make another set of A7 cash envelopes. So for the meantime, so yeah, we have the same so nice, right? So same then talaga siya ng setup. And I also put my point first here. So this is how it looks like when I go out. So, yeah. It's either I hold it like this and go out or put it on my bag. My black bag. And I will show you how I put it inside the bag later. So now that it's done, let's proceed to the A6 binders that we have. First off, this is my cash binder. This is my budget binder. So, it has gold, rose gold hardware and pink flap. Clear din siya. But unlike the clear A7, silver kasi yung hardware nun. This one is uh, rose gold. So, we have my laminated cash envelopes. So let's try to see what we have here. So we have income. This is like a like a placeholder because having a inconsistent and wala kasi akong paycheck na matatawag like 1530 or by by or by monthly. So ang ginagawa ko I set a big paycheck for myself and then as the income goes, nilalagay ko siya dito until such time that I'm ready to film a cash stuffing video. Next is my creative business. So this is for the stocks for the tech that I needed and anything else. Debt payment as it says this is where I put all my payments for my debt. Emergency fund. We have this. Hopefully, I could have savings for this this year. MP2 investments. I haven't really opened my MP2 yet, but it's good to have this. Because I'm trying to really do it this year. And also, government contributions I still yet to update all my government contribution and I made a separate laminated cash envelopes for it para seryosohin ko na talaga and cause you know out of sight out of mind so I really have to do it this year celebrations this is mainly for birthdays so this June, it will be my mama's 60th birthday, so I'm saving up for it. So I put it here. And holidays, mainly this is for Christmas, because I think that's the biggest holiday that we have here in the Philippines. We're a really big Christmas kind of of people here. So, and last year. The expenses are so high and I really didn't prepare for it. So I might as well have, will prepare for it this time. Kasi ayoko nang magkaroon ng mga personal debt because of it. Next is hell. I have to make some appointments for checkups and laboratories. So I'm also prioritizing my health this year. I have quite a lot of stress and 
I just I'm not yet ready to share all the details with you about this but siguro in time so we have that and then utilities I mainly pay for our water utility and a portion of our Wi-Fi so this is the main utilities that I have to pay then variable expenses this is for the A7 binders so yeah nandun mostly yung mga variable expenses ko so I put it here and then film a separate video for the A7 if that makes sense so this is for my sinking funds I have a, quite a lot of categories for my sinking funds so I, I also put hit I also put here the allotted amount and then take out to film another cash stuffing video solely for sinking funds in the near future. And we have savings challenges. It's also the same with the sinking funds. I also put it here and then film another cash video. So for sinking funds, and savings challenges they all house in my a6 lv inspired binder so this is just like a placeholder kind of cash envelopes like the income one i also have this placeholders these are freebies for the phone purchases that we have so I'm 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 gonna use this for bigger denominations in the near future, like fifty or fifty thousand or one hundred thousand. Because I only have limited versions of this, so I might as well have a bigger amount intended for this, right? So that's it. This is my this is what I called the Femme Beginner Budget Binder in my shop and it comes with it comes with this cute keychain I only have limited stocks for this and yeah this is how it looks like if you are interested so just put it there so just cute or you can opt to have it outside. It's cute nonetheless. So, this is my A6 budget binder. And let's go ahead and proceed to my A6 LV inspired A6 binder. So, this is my A6 LV inspired binder. And this, as I've I've already mentioned a while ago that this is this house my sink, sinking funds and savings challenges so let's check them out so when you open this on the left side this has a lot of card slots but I really don't use this and it has a storage here and on the back and right side so we have a flap here nandiyan yung ito yung ang pao ko last december and just put it there and also has a pen loop so what's in my a7 lv inspired binder so we have this savings challenges so this is this is actually a laminated cash envelopes na you can use you can put money but I just use this as like a what do you call that one like a I don't know parang title what it is all about I don't know what to call it so this is what it looks like so here this is my laminated savings challenges so we have 52 weeks 
we have the mini we have the small emergencies 100 savings challenges birthday christmas medical debt payment emergency fund mp2 savings month ahead home fund self-care shopping pet fund glasses dental braces travel fund laptop tech wedding tattoo so i also have the mini savings challenges and i plan to add more savings challenges here so let me know in the comments below what savings challenges you want to see on my shop soon and this is available on my shops in shopee tiktok and lazada so check them out if you're interested so that's it this is my a6 binder now i will show you how i this is how i bring my a7 with me so as what i've told you it's either i carry them with just my hands to the grocery store or i put it on my bag so this is my bag this is how it looks like it also has a gold hardware so machi machi talaga sila sa, sa binder ko this is from a ukay ukay and i really love this it has two compartments so let's see what's inside so parang nagiging bag what's in my bag na rin to. so here in the first compartment i put usually put my phone here and I also always bring a ball pen with me. And this is where I put my, my wallets. So, yeah. And I like it that it's faced towards me because sometimes I don't pull out my binder and I just have it like this. So whenever i need coins i'll just open it and get coins without necessarily pulling out everything so i also so i also just open it and for example i'm in the grocery so i'll just take out take out the money here so but in cases that Nagmamadali at talaga ako. Nasa stress ako kasi may tao sa likod in the line. So, I just put it here on my ziplock. Catch all everything. And just compute everything when I get home. So, ayan. Or sometimes I pull it out but rarely lang din naman. Kasi it's more convenient this way for me. And naging nakaharap yan. So, it's accessible to me. In this next compartment naman, I have here usually my toiletries. So, I always have tissue with me. Kaya medyo bulky siya ngayon kasi kakapalit ko lang ng tissue. I have this. Kasi lagi talaga akong naibihi. So, I really go to the CR. So, I have this. I also have this. This is my holy grail. Yung tita vibes natin. Vaporin. I also have this. Lip mousse, I think. Yeah, lip mousse from Sugar Dolls. And I, I'm trying to use this up before it expires. 
and I always have a notebook with me because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I write ko so far because sometimes I go out and I go to the what do you call this one? I go to the plaza to to chill and relax and sometimes there are ideas coming to me so it's convenient for me to write it out or sometimes I a lot time and budget to go out and go to the nearest coffee shops just to you know have some time for myself and really focus on my plans or reflect just reflect on things so it's convenient to have that and i also have mints i use up all the mints so i have this candina mints whenever i have like sore throat or anything it's just nice to have any mint something inside. So, so this is how my bags, my bag looks like. Naka close naman din siya, but it seems bulky now because of the tissue. Kakapalit ko din kasi. So yeah. And I only score this okay okay wouldn't wouldn't you believe it? Ang ganda niya. So nice. Yeah, it's not shiny, but that's the drill. No. And by so, the way, thank you for a follower that is curious about how I bring my A7 binders outside. So I hope that I answer all your questions and give you idea on what is the real life and practical side of using binders so yeah thank you again for watching the video and i have a lot of videos in store for you so be sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated on my newest video releases so till again, no matter what happens, bye.